Thursday night football to open up week seven of the NFL season. And it's looking like a pretty good game right here between a pair of two and four teams as we go to Arizona and the Cardinals face the Saints. The New Orleans Saints have been the walking wounded to start this season. They began with Jameis Winston at quarterback and have had to go to Andy Dalton due to some uh, fractures in Jameis Winston's back. The receiving core, which was bolstered in the offseason with the additions of Jarvis Landry and Chris Olave, Michael Thomas coming back to the team, you know, they, they really thought that they were going to have a big time, you know, offense when it comes to spreading it out with the receivers. But Michael Thomas has hurt his foot again, and he won't be playing in this game. Chris Olave has, you know, gone through the concussion protocol. I expect him to start and be the number one play receiver for New Orleans. Jarvis Landry is still out, and he's got a problem health-wise. And so when it comes to receivers for New Orleans, you get yourself some Traquan Smith and some Marquez Callaway. These guys are steady and stable dudes that played for them last year in the number one and two roles, and I expect them to get along well as they have so far with Andy Dalton at quarterback. As for the Arizona Cardinals, you're looking at a team that is getting back their number one receiver in New Hopkins. DeAndre Hopkins returns from a six-game suspension. And so while he may be a little bit rusty, he'll have fresh legs, and perhaps that'll help open up an Arizona offense that seems to have been dwindling lately. Now, they're going to be without uh, Marqu uh, Marquise Brown, Hollywood Brown, injured his foot in the game and is out indefinitely. And so they traded for Robbie Anderson, the wide receiver for the Carolina Panthers. He comes into Arizona, but I don't expect to see him play very much as he just arrived and we're here on a short week. That means we'll see some A.J. Green and some Rondale Moore. So here we go. This is a battle of two teams with two and four records. I know that the New Orleans Saints have a good offensive line, and I expect them to try and run the football. Alvin Kamara missed a couple of weeks, but he's been back recently. You've got Mark Ingram as his backup, and that's a nice two-headed monster there when it comes to pounding the running game at this Arizona defense that has really given up a lot of yards on the ground. As for the defense for the Saints, they have a pass rush. You've got Cameron Jordan. You've got a decent secondary. They lost a couple of pieces in the offseason, but they added Tyran Matthew, the Honey Badger. For the Arizona Cardinals, again, Kyler Murray got his big contract, but I just don't think he's living up to the billing. You know, he tries to use his legs a lot, which I think is smart when it comes with the mobility to extend plays and such but his receivers have just not been getting open. The offensive line has allowed him to really get beat up so far this season, and the defense is not nearly as good as it was last year. And for that reason, I'm going to take the New Orleans Saints to beat the Arizona Cardinals on Thursday night football. Our spotlight players of the game are going to be the number one receiver now, first round draft pick, for the New Orleans Saints out of Ohio State, it's Chris Olave. He's coming back from the concussion, as we mentioned earlier. And without Michael Thomas and Jarvis Landry, he'll be the number one option for Andy Dalton, who gets to start again here for the New Orleans Saints. Chris is a pretty good deep threat from time to time, but he's more of a possession receiver. He can definitely get open. And against this weak secondary of the Arizona Cardinals, I expect him to have a big game. For the Cardinals, their guy is going to be Eno Benjamin. He's going to come in and be the starter at running back because James Conner is injured here for the Cardinals. Daryl Williams will probably back him up if he's available to play. Eno has made a couple of plays in the last couple of weeks, but he's only rushed for a maximum of 37 yards in any one game. Here's a chance for him to break out 
but they're going to need to run to the edges and stay away from that strong front seven of the New Orleans Saints in this game if he's to have any effect of running. Now, he's a pretty good receiver out of the backfield. He caught a couple of big passes this last week, and he's averaged about 30 yards uh, per week in receptions. He'll have to do better now that he's going to be the starter because Arizona does rely on several checkdowns when they can't get it deep to their receivers. So those are our spotlight players of the game. So another Thursday night football here for week seven. We've actually managed to win a couple here and there. In fact, last week, overall, the entire week, I went five and one. I felt really good about that. Let's see how we do as we start week number seven. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on Sunday for another five big matchups right here on Picks with David.